Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I want to show you my uh, build that doesn't have a name yet. So um, after the, the map showcase, you can give me your opinion about a good build name for it. Um, it's actually a volatile dead poet's pen permanent righteous fire juggernaut. Uh, it should be pretty tanky and should have a lot of damage. Probably once my gear is done, I'm not sure. Uh, it's day leak number four. Yes. Uh, currently farming the Atlas. Uh, we are somewhere at tier 12 maps. I'm just going to go uh, to the inner circle um, with 126. It's day four, as mentioned. And before I go over the gear I have, I just want to give you guys a showcase uh, on how the build looks like, since it got requested quite a lot. Um, I got here a superior race course map. Um, so if you don't like the build, you can shut down the, the video after the build showcase and if you like it then yeah feel free to stay and listen to what i have to say to you so anyways uh we are just love ha having uh, righteous fire and golem and that's about it we got just gonna hold down one button and this is how the build works right we're basically just gonna hold down one button and kill everything let's enable the map so i see where we are going as I said, or will explain later on, uh, this is a shaped map. Yeah, it's uh, it's an elder map. Even better. Um, before we go over the gear, or at least like I'm going to mention a lot of things that we can get like ten times more DPS. Uh, but for now, the build is actually doing pretty well. Uh, I've got to like um, deaths 100, no 220 or something at the moment with this build. So yeah, it. It's a complete no-brainer, you actually just hold down one button and everything dies. At least that's the build design, or what it should be like. And as I said, or as you can see, it works out pretty well. Next, go to the next stage. We even have uh, Val Righteous Fire for even some more uh, juicy burst at the boss. Like, many people know uh, Poet's Pen, Juggernaut with Volatile Dead already, but I really wanted to get one step further and go take Righteous Fire as a permanent uh, skill in, not just for Righteous Fire for a boss. And yeah, as you can see, uh, build is actually quite fast, quite enjoyable. I'm not even pressing any kind of flasks or anything like that, because I just want to hold down one button. That's that's the build that I like to play. Um, let's get more Acerite over here. Sulfurit, sorry. And let's kill the boss. Maybe for the boss showcase we can actually switch out body swap. Because it, for bosses you really want to stand still and uh, spawn your uh, volatile deaths, right? So let's just act. Uh, let's just shoot some balls. Preparation. Let's get in some Val Righteous Fire. Almost die. Perfect. The drops. But yeah, as you see, works out pretty well. Nothing too special, actually. Well, actually, it's it's a lot of special things here. Uh, but we're gonna take a look uh, right now. So, basically, if you enjoyed the build and you're still staying here, then yeah, welcome to the build equipment. What is this? No needs that. Um, yeah, first of all, we're gonna talk about how the build is actually working and what my decision was. Actually, we're gonna talk about the decision first because... Um, I wasn't too sure about either going for Volatile Dead Juggernaut as I'm playing it right now or Righteous Fire because those are the two specs that I probably enjoy the most uh, just from the last season until I saw these boots here. They grant Purity of Fire, they have fire damage to spells and attacks, life, movement, speed, they just got everything um, that I actually want and just because of these boots I was getting the idea of combining both to get like a super cool boss killer, fast, super tanky kind of uh, build. So yeah, um, from the playstyle itself, um, if you take a look over here, what this is actually doing. So in one po uh, Poet's Pen, uh, we got Unearth, uh, greater multiple projectiles and combustion support at the moment. I'm gonna swap these out um, for now because later on when I have more money, I'm just gonna buy a second set and just go for a weapon swap when I'm at bosses so I don't have to switch gems around. Okay, what this is doing, uh, we have Unearth that spawns a corpse, right? And with GMP, you're gonna spawn five corpses, because with GMP you have four additional projectiles, makes five. Okay, um, Combustion Body Swap is just, if you have Body Swap, you're just gonna transform your body to one of the corpses, 
And this is the, the effect you get over here. And by the way, it looks pretty sexy when just the whole character is fully bleeding. Anyways, um, we're just gonna skip that for now. So from the, from the mechanics, it's five corpses at the moment. So now we're just gonna get our second uh, poet's pen, which is volatile dead, uh, conch effect and elemental focus. So what this does is, if we show it like this, it spawns a circle and consumes corpses and makes those fireballs, right? Those volatiles. So what that means is you're gonna spawn the, the corpses and on the next click you're actually gonna get three volatiles out of that. And yeah, I'm going to discuss later how we can actually increase that because there is a helm enchant uh, that we want to get. What I still don't have, but yeah, that's a lot of DPS increase, but that later, right? So yeah, this is the, how the build actually works. You're just gonna spawn a lot of corpses and make volatiles and body swap around. And the more attack speed and the more cooldown reduction you get, the more balls and so on. And besides that, we are still having Righteous Fire, which gives an insane amount of boost uh, in terms of DPS. Okay, um, gear-wise, um, let's start. We, we said Poet's Pen, um, Chaos Heart, pretty obvious. We are purely fire-based build with a ton of life at the moment, running about 7.1k life. Um, running 9 Endurance Charges um, through Chaos Way and we have a hell out of a life regeneration with this character. Um, we get 9 Endurance Charges and with Chaos Way we got 2 of them. Um, we have 0.8% per Endurance Charge with this, uh, another total of, I don't know, don't let me count wrong, 7% or something, I don't know. Anyways, um, in the end we will have about 3000 something life regeneration per second. Uh, minus Righteous Fire, we should end up having about flat 2k net um, life regeneration from theory once the build is done. I can still sustain it even without the Vitality. So yeah, pretty much. The other gear is just like, yeah, Shaper Seed for now. It's like, I think one Alchemy uh, at the moment. Oh, it's one Chaos, I'm sorry. Just for 2% life regeneration, nothing special. I have these uh, gloves since ages. They have 19 life, no enchant, no nothing. It's just for lightning resistance, basically. So I really had to spend my money for the KOMs and KOMs away and stuff because these are mandatory uniques, actually. And yeah, I should actually replace. I think they are like one chaos or something. Same with the belt. I found this one. Um, needs to be replaced um, as well. We're just going to go for resistance as whatever we need, right? Uh, the boots are already set, we gain a lot of uh, fire damage to spells and attacks, so that counts for volatile uh, dead. Um, this is also an anger, basically, with the fire damage you get, right? On top of that, we get purity of fire level 25, that means we have 5% max fire resistance. Okay, um, that is about the gear. Um, for the gems, let's go over those quick. We have Righteous Fire, at least Vile Righteous Fire for bosses for a little bit more juice. Uh, elemental focus, area, increased area of effect, and burning damage support. In the boots, I just have in a stone golem for even more life regeneration, um, vitality, enduring cry, and herald of ash. And in the helmet, we go for our frenzy, greater multiple projectiles, faster attacks, and blood magic support. Because um, with the amount of mana I have left, if I remove the blood magic, um, I actually run out of mana so you see there is a lot slower in casting so if i find a way to sustain it i will probably go for fortify to get even more tankiness but at the moment i'm just re uh, using blood magic flasks i can't really give a good opinion about it because uh, this is the fla uh, this is the flask that i had with righteous fire uh, but in the end it's still not bad you have an instant recovery and bleed immunity flask uh, heal flask for like this no dying moments uh, we have a, a Sulfur Flask uh, to remove shock and also, yeah, if we stand still, right? Rumi's Concoction is a defensive option. We have Witchfire Brew, which doesn't make a lot of sense for me at the moment because it's just 40% decreased damage over time and Despair Curse Aura. Like, we can find something uh, else for that, but I still have, like, no currency left to replace something, so... I'm sorry, like, in, in a couple of days I'll probably make an update of this video. Uh, of this build uh, to see uh, to let you see my progress and there I will probably have another flask set up maybe a dying sun or something like that and yeah a uh, quick silver flask of adrenaline to just move even faster that looks actually pretty hilarious okay we went over the gear 
um, the flask. Enchantment wise, um, you want to have regenerate 2% life and mana per second if you were hit recently. Because like, if, if you're Righteous Fire, you just want to have as much regeneration as you can get, right? So yes, there are different enchants that are good, like the fire damage or elemental penetration or anything like that. But in the end, these are just like good enchants. But this one is just perfect for the build, right? Um, what else could we enchant? Uh, gloves, I have actually no idea what we will do here. Probably gonna take uh, fingerless silk gloves at some point just for the spell damage. And we're gonna skip the enchant, maybe. Uh, helm, we definitely need um, volatile that destroys one additional corpse. This is an enchant that is about four or five exalts at the moment. This is my next upgrade because you just have to think, we're gonna get five corpses, we're gonna destroy three of them, plus one for body swap. So every time I use that, uh, we still have one corpse left over. So here I'm spawning three balls every time. So with this helm enchant, I'm spawning four balls every time, right? So that's like a huge DPS increase. The next thing is, um, we need a belt with cooldown reduction that is a, a shaped belt. Um, it's item level 84, I think, um, to get 20% cooldown reduction. Because if we go over here and choose uh, Volatile Dad, um, yeah, it's, the damage is not too big at the moment. I'll probably get this one to like 80 or 90,000. Um, I will talk a bit about gear replacement later on. No, actually, we, we started it already. So um, yeah, we're gonna go for Amulet later. Anyway, so we, as you see, we have a cooldown time of 0 0.25 seconds. This is, this is the internal cooldown of the Poet's Pen, right? So when I shoot Frenzy, um, I can get maximum four uh, Poet's Pen procs every second, right? Uh, which works at the moment, but with uh, cooldown recovery speed on the belt, you can actually get this to 0 0.21. Uh, what that means is you can almost get five casts per second, which means a, a total of uh, four extra projectiles every second. And if you count it over here, once you hit like 60, 70, 80,000 uh, volatile that, that's a huge DPS increase. So in one hand, for my build, I can get one more volatile and I can proc it one time more often per second, uh, which is like, as I said, an, an insanely sick boss killer ability. And still have a pretty good option for uh, fast clear speed with body swap, right? So, uh, on the next thing, um, skill tree. I think we're on the skill tree, are we? Yeah, let's go for the skill tree. There's actually nothing too fancy over here because I choose to get as tanky as possible. It means we start over here as a marauder, obviously. Um, we're just gonna get some more uh, life regeneration as possible. We get ma uh, maximum life armor, whatever, more life, at some resistances, more armor, additional endurance charge. This one is very important because you have one maximum fire resistance because righteous fire, you wanna have as the highest uh, fire resistance as possible. Here we have some fire damage, here's some more life. We have a lot of uh, gem slots. So here one, we take the full uh, Scion life cluster here. Uh, we have more life regeneration. We go downside here, or at least here some uh, some more resists. Because at the moment I like some just cold and lightning resists. Uh, that's why I picked this over here, because we have more lightning resists, more cold resists and some all resists. Uh, because later on I hope that I can fix it uh, with the open gloves and uh, belt. Anyways, keep on going. Uh, more jewel slots, we have attack speed, we have more life, we have another endurance charge, we have even more life. If we go to the top side, uh, we have another endurance charge and hey, we have more life and some elemental damage, more area of effect. We go over here. Um, this one is a, I have to go in detail a little bit. Um, more fire damage, more life, more life regeneration. So everything is about life, life regeneration and fire damage. Pretty simple actually. Uh, we do crit, so we have elemental overload to get even more elemental damage. Um, and yeah, now we have to go over something that I think could get an adjustment, but yeah. Since we are using a level 25 purity of fire skill that gives us 5% additional fire resistance, maximum fire resistance, right? Makes 80 in total because uh, we are actually 75 cap plus 5 is 80. Why do I have 82? Okay, 1% comes from barbarism, so we are at 81. 
And since we actually get 5% out of our Purity of Fire, we can get some increased effect of non-curse auras you cast. So in total, we need 20% increased effect of non-curse aura to have 6% getting from the um, Purity of Fire, right? And this is the important thing to get to 82% because one max fire resistance is actually quite a lot in sustaining Righteous Fire. Okay, so we got 6% over here, 10% uh, over here makes 16. And then we have uh, Devotion with another 3% makes 0 0.19. We actually need 0 0.20. So my solution was actually getting this jewel over here, uh, which gives you another 3% of active non-curse auras from your skills. So we end up having 0 0.22. Um, if we find another way, I mean, there are several ways like this one. No, wait a second. There was... Um, this one, 6% effect. But this uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, at least 5 skill points that all could be life, actually. So I'd rather spend one jewel slot. But yeah, that's future things like once I can fix uh, the gear the, to the items that I want to have, um, I can still see how much regeneration I will get and if this is actually uh, like super effective or not. Because if I skip this one, I would probably move over here, take this jewel slot, uh, go over here and take the Heart of the Flame with uh, Cruel Preparation for even more life and more elemental resistance. Check. For um, the jewels, I don't really spend a lot of currency yet in the jewels. Um, like I said, this one is like one alchemy just to enable uh, one max fire resistance. Uh, what do we have here? Fire damage, maximum life, cold and lightning resistance. As I said, we like cold and lightning resistance. We have a lot of fire resistance. Uh, same over here. That's all resistance, fire damage, maximum life. So yeah, pretty. And these are just fill-up spots, okay? These are completely stupid. They just have maximum life and adds one maximum life per three intelligence. Don't forget about this jewel, please. It's just here as a placeholder. Because when I open the skill tree, I see exactly about the circle that I need to replace exactly those three jewels, right? And this one, I think, as well. Maybe it's at some point. So just forget about this. I would personally get a Might Over Meek over here. Um, and if we do so, we could actually replace those fierce skill points, get those two over here, and yeah, get those two life in some more armor, some more life, whatever, okay? Um... I think that's about it for the skill tree. Yeah, okay. Let's go over for the amulet. So I wanna have, like, let's go to the dream gear I would like to have, okay? So as we said, probably a Devotos because we need a lot of dexterity. Uh, better would be some, I don't know, I have to check, maybe some uh, Elder Helmet to get my Righteous Fire inside it. So we have like a six-linked Righteous Fire. Uh, but it's mandatory that you get the Volatile that uh, destroys one additional corpse enchantment. Uh, most of the lab runners are enchanting on Devotos, and Devotos is a great unique for us, so you're probably gonna take that, because getting an Elder Helmet with that enchant will be either super expensive or it's just not on the market. We're gonna see it later at the point uh, if there is actually something like that here. Uh, Poet's Pen is actually okay, Cam's Way is okay, Cam's Heart, if possible, with 1% um, max resistance and ch uh, corruption. Uh, here I want to have Xoft's Blood uh, for even more insane chooseness, <laughs> better said. Um, to get Avatar Fire and Fire Penetration and Maximum Life and Strength, I don't know what's, what else. Um, as I said, here I want to have actually maybe some Fingerless Silk Gloves uh, or like... I don't know, I'm not too sure. Like, this is an open spot for whatever I want to have, right? I'm gonna make up my mind later at that point. Um, could be an uh, Essence of Delirium, 30% more damage over time, maybe. Um, or anything like that. And here we said we're gonna take an, an shaped, ba uh, shaped base, uh, probably Leather Belt, or... Yeah, Leather Belt. Yeah. That's about it. MTX, if you want to see, we have Wasteland Helmet, we have Glowing Red Eyes, we have the Infernal Wings, the Fire Body Armor. No skins for the weapons because I only have one Seraph Dagger, because these are ones. Uh, Ultimate Chaos Weapon Effect, Extra Gore, we have Kitava Gloves, Kitava Boots, Ultimate Chaos Footprints, Ultimate Chaos Character Effect, Kitava Portrait Frame, Demon King, Portal Effect. Volatile that is regular one. This is the Celestial Righteous Fire. We have no skin for Stone Golem, Carnage, Vitality Effect, and a Dominant Herald Effect that makes those super 
juicy explosions. Uh, if we go for um, Blood Adequat, for example, just you can see the super sexy explosion. And then I need to show you something else. Uh, let's get this over here so we don't body swap around. So you can see those juicy explosions with the Herald effect. It just looks like there are bombs hitting and that's like super awesome. I don't know. I, I, I still fell in love with this uh, Herald effect. Eesh. Anyways, so you might ask yourself why we actually run Righteous Fire. Um, Righteous Fire has a super cool side effect. It's not like doing area of effect damage. Uh, Righteous Fire actually, wait a second, gives you 38% more spell damage. Okay, that is a buff that you get. Okay, so as you see over here, uh, we have Volatile Dead at the moment at 7.5k damage. That is not a lot, definitely not. We're gonna, like, as I said before, at some point of the gear, we're gonna reach like more than 50k plus or uh, each orb, right? And we're gonna set like, I don't know, like 40 orbs per second. So that's going to be millions of DPS. Um, so if we activate Righteous Fire now, it goes from 7.5k to 11k, so that's 4k DPS, or at least 3.3k DPS, yes, I know. Um, additional DPS for each Volatile, so that's 4 casts per second, makes uh, 12 Volatiles, makes uh, more than 50k DPS plus just because activating Righteous Fire. Besides doing quite a, a nice amount of damage since we have a, quite an insane life pool. And in the end, I want to reach like 9k flat life, I would say. Uh, with some better gear and some better jewels and that stuff. So at one point, uh, as I said, if we're going to get the additional enchant and stuff. Um, and the additional attack speed coming from the belt since we get uh, cooldown recovery speed. So we can proc our poet's pen more often, right? Uh, this is going to be very huge DPS boost. And that's why I really, so, as I said, as I saw those boots, I know exactly that I want to do uh, a mix of that. Okay, so I think that's enough talking uh, for now. Wait a second. We have Vitality for life regeneration, Purity of Fire, and Herald of Ash, just if you're asking what arrows we're running. And I don't want to forget it. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Um, please let me know in the comments uh, if you got a name for the build itself. Because, uh, yeah, we're actually... No, I don't want to say the name mentions uh, we actually came up with. Because they are like 18 plus, right? And if you have like any ideas for the build for the further progress, um, please let me know in the comments section of this video below. And yeah, if you want to check out the progress, Twitch TV slash MB Extreme. I'm like every day online, like 10, 12... 15 hours, I think yesterday was 16 hours, anything like that. And yeah, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.